All right, folks, this is just going to be a quick rundown on how to use QGIS, which is a free open source bit of software you can download from the internet, namely QGIS's website. And it's popped over on the other screen there. Here we go. So here's the QGIS.org. You can hop over here, download this uh, really robust piece of GIS software. And that's what I'm going to be using today for this little demonstration of how quickly you can get your land contracts right away, information, ownership information, uh, some basic base maps, uh, maybe make it a little easier for you to get data back and forth to engineers, uh, the people you might be contracting for. So let's pop back to uh, QGIS. And right now we're just looking at uh, the state of West Virginia. I work mainly in the Marcellus and Utica areas, so that's going to be where the, the bulk of this data from today's little rundown is going to come from. The Statewide maps you see here and with the counties, those are all readily available. Uh, you can go grab those from U.S. Census bureaus. You can probably get them from local mapping services online. And I can definitely provide you with tags, uh, links how to get to that information. Uh, we can see them over here. Um, I've got them all in one big group layer here. And I've also got in this, uh, we've got the Google Maps, uh, satellite, terrain, hybrids. I've got a couple other ones in here. We're just going to use the hybrid for now. And again, free to use kind of base mapping. So let's uh, zoom down here into southern West Virginia, Boone and Raleigh County, uh, some Kanawha County areas. We'll turn off the base maps. You can adjust these to where um, a lot of your layers will turn on and off automatically based on what scale you're zooming in and out of. Yeah, just kind of for instance, if you see, um, I'm zoom zoomed in a little tight here. You can still see the county names, the state name. If I start zooming out, uh, the county names disappear. I have that set to disappear at uh, 100 or uh, 100,000 scale. As I come back in, you see the county names show back up. Uh, so go back out past the whoops 100,000. I've got them just kind of automatically disappear. We could do the same thing for the state parcels or anything else you don't want to see at a, such a large scale. If I turn the state parcels on right now, this thing would take um, you know a couple minutes for it to render. It's like 1.2 million parcels in the state of West Virginia. So anyway, come back into here. We'll turn off the county states and turn the actual parcels on. So we see a lot of you guys probably might be familiar with digital parcels across the states and areas you guys work in. Again, this is Southern West Virginia, Boone County. And as I kind of select one of those, um, let's make sure we're on the quite, got the right layer. We want information from the parcels to show up. All right, there we go. So on the right hand side, let's clear out some space here real quick. Um, on the right hand side, you can see the data that we're We've selected that's the Shepherd Boone Coal Company. We've got some quick information about the address, the mailing address. That's the mailing address, not the actual property address. Some quick legal information. And um, sorry about that. Something popped up on my other screen. It kind of pulled the uh, mouse cursor away. Uh, legal information, how much mineral, how much surface they have on that, that particular piece of property. I'm not sure piece we clicked on there let's break there we go um, so this piece of property here and we've got uh, deed book and page number for that piece of property and some brief brief tax information about it as well uh, but what we do want to do is come down all right so what this is showing us is that the Shepherd Boone Coal Company is the only owner for that piece of property but let's see if we can find one real quick hopefully see is um, so yes in this case there are two ownerships for that particular piece of property and what we can come over here and look real quick um, Getty Engineering Company locally here in Charleston West Virginia and we can come over see those individual so this is will book 195 uh, will book K page 195 deed book and page for the other entity and we can come over and look at the legal description for these guys real quick. So we see what mineral and fee surface they've got. And we see the original landowner still has two-third interest with seven wells on it. And the um, 
uh, whatever this company's name is, probably the, the coal company act actively mining on it as a third interest. Um, so there's a quick way to see properties that have multiple ownerships on them. Uh, this form is kind of, this is the default form. You can definitely uh, kind of play around with that, make things smaller, get rid of a lot of the information that you're not going to need to see here. Uh, a lot of this is redundant data that's also displayed here in what's called the root ID, which is basically the county district map and parcel number. And then we've got some, these last two digits indicate uh, mineral ownership, which uh, we're not looking at the mineral ownership right now. We're looking at surface ownership. Um, so now let's say you wanted to, uh, maybe let's say you want to draw a right away across this and in that right away you want to pick up all of the landowners that uh, own the surface. And we've got mineral ownership as well, but in this case we're just going to use the surface ownership. Uh, so what we're going to do real quick is add a new layer. And that popped up over on my other screen. Here we go. And we're going to make that a line because it's a right away. And we're just going to call it a new right away. Now we can add fields. And what you want to change that to the right way, that plus wouldn't work in there, is we can actually have multiple transmission lines, collection lines. Uh, names of right away's in the same thing so we can say right away name add that because you can have multiple right of ways in the same layer uh, as long as you name them name them differently they'll they'll display differently on your map you can tell uh, uh, for the cranberry right away you want it to be blue for the uh, over the hill right away you want it to be purple by uh, whatever colors you want to do it so we're going to add that in here now let's see the new right away pops in to our layers over here. All right, so now we're going to just uh, start drawing that. Whoops. Start editing that layer. Going to draw. Let's say we want our right of way. It might be hard to see on the screen, but you see, I'm I'm making this red line, and this is going to be our meandering right of way. Now, when I get done with it, it's going to. I'm going to right click. It's going to say, "Okay, I'm done," and we're going to just call this um, first right of way okay that kind of made it a really light blue hard to see we can quickly before we get away from uh, coloring it changing the color of it we're going to stop editing that layer do you want to save it yep we're going to save it so now we're going to come and double click on that layer everything's popping up on my other screen guys and let's just make this real quick and easy to see nice big red line so there's our right of way we've drawn it across uh, maybe you get your right of ways from your engineers or the right of way company you contract with um, if they provide them to you in shape files GIS files those you could just pop right in here and overlay on your parcels uh, now what we're going to do is we want to find out who owns all the properties that runs along with that right of way so we're going to use some of these real quick tools the processing tools in this case we're going to do a selection based on location and it popped over on my other screen again here we go so we're going to select features from the parcels that intersect with the new right away and we're just going to hit run real quick and there's our highlighted everything that's in that and what we're going to do now real quick so there's all the ones that run through that or are under the right of way we're going to open this attribute table now the first time you open this especially this is West Virginia um, let's see if I can pull this over yeah uh, you can see that there's 1.2 million parcels in the entire state of West Virginia so it's going to load all these initially the first time uh, but once it loads it won't take this long to load every time after that okay so now we have all 1.2 million 1.3 million just about uh, across the entire state, but we just want to see what we've got selected. So we've got 15 property owners underneath of there. Drag those down. There they are. We can see everybody that's under under those ownership names, address for those for those properties. Uh, we've got deed book and page numbers. We've got the legal description. Um, Again, since we're working with the surface, I'm sorry, the surface owners right now, it's just saying 
what surface um, information is. We've got the mineral parcels again for West Virginia. Not all states have mineral uh, severed from the surface. West Virginia is fortunately or unfortunately, I guess how you want to look at it. One of those states that do have surface and mineral severed from one another. Um, you could quickly export this out to Excel, um, kind of make it easier to report over to someone else. Um, in our original right of way information, when I open up it's the tribute, we just have the, the name in here right now, but you could add needs more contracts. Uh, owner refuses to sign contract. We need to find another one. You, you could add multiple fields out across through here. And each of those fields, you could shade the right of way segments based on the information that you've got in your database. Um, Again, the same goes. <clears throat> the same goes with the individual parcels. You could have multiple, uh, and not only additionally do we have all this tax information with each of the parcels. Um, you can add your own data to those. Again, contact sign, contract sign, sign date, uh, needs a survey, survey prepared. You you can put unsurmountable amount of data. You could shade these parcels based on what information you have in those. Uh, you know. You could shade one red if the column indicates um, current condition. The current condition says uh, the landowner refuses to sign, so you, you know you're going to have to go around this guy. You could shade that parcel red, and it could automatically do that based on those conditions. Uh, green means uh, you're, you're done with it. It's a go. You, you, can, you can traverse across that. Um, so basically, this was just a quick rundown of how a, a bit of free software, QGIS, um, bunch of free parcel or not parcels the parcels aren't free sorry uh, the base layers like the states and county layers here uh, the base maps are free uh, you can get those from state agencies government agencies um, and can help you kind of move along with your workflow so this was kind of a quick rundown I hope it helped a little bit to give you a better understanding of how you yourself can use GIS uh, in your daily workflow and if you guys think these are of interest then we'll make some more of these make some more videos and kind of help you guys set these up because there are mobile apps that go along with this you can take your smartphone with you kind of if you know you're going to work in just this area for the day you can push this stuff out to your smartphone and have a gis on your mobile device um, you can clip out segments to take with maybe your laptop in the field so you're uh, like for instance um, these base maps with google i do have to have an internet connection to make these work um, you can downloaded locally uh, have a copy of, of your base maps you just kind of have to tell it beforehand before you hit the field that you need these base maps locally on your hard drive a lot of other tools that this thing has you can see a bunch of buttons we haven't even thought about touching today uh, processing tools database tools uh, routing tools um, anyway let me know your interest in these if you think this is something you guys would like to see more of again this is free to use software uh, you can get a lot of this data also from possibly the, the companies you're contracting for and might make their lives a little bit easier too. Thanks.